Greetings, dear friends, and welcome to the first episode of Morning Coffee with Mark and Noel. And this is a thing that we decided we were going to do, and we have a lot of friends in the Christian community and recovery community and on Facebook, and a lot of them have asked us, you know, certain questions, and we always are eager to answer those questions and offer a little bit of insight and maybe advice Although you don't have to follow that advice, we're just offering our opinions based on our experiences, our strength, and the hope that we have that everyone can live a good life. Now, the first topic that we're going to discuss today on Morning Coffee is how do we start our day? And my lovely wife, Noelle, she is with me, and I'm going to ask her, Noelle, how do you start your day? Well, I start my day with you, which is always a great way to start the day. Um, we wake up in the morning, and the first thing that we do is we invite God into our lives for the day. So we do a prayer together. Uh, sometimes I pray, sometimes Mark prays. We both pray, but it's who starts us off, and we always say, good morning, God, and then thank him for another day. Um, that really prepares us for having God in our lives for the rest of the day, all throughout the day. So I thought, uh, before we got married, I had talked to a friend of ours who was at a retreat with me, and I asked her how she starts her day uh, with her husband and how they stay close because they have a very good relationship in their marriage. And she said that they found something that they thought was uh, compatible to both of them, but that they enjoyed together. And so they start their day off with yoga every day. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know, just find your thing that you guys enjoy doing together. And so we've done that every day since we've gotten married. And it works for us. Right. And not everybody's married. Some people wake up um, and they're by themselves in the morning. And I've always got this question from people is, how do I pray? What should I be praying for? It feels weird to be by myself and just thinking and praying to God. And... The thing is, is that prayer opens our minds up to peace mm -hmm. and opens our minds up to happiness and opens our minds up to joy. And the thing that I would advise anybody who is praying for the first time or is not comfortable or used to praying is just think about the things in life that we desire. OK, and it doesn't have to be our own personal desires. It can be any desires. All right, the desires for our friends and family to be okay. If you know somebody who's sick or is in the hospital or is has been diagnosed with some type of uh, disease that needs treatment, then we can pray for that person. We can pray for success in our lives. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to pray for that. Don't feel like that's a selfish prayer or, or that um, we're bothering God with that or that God is the wish master and he's going to grant our wishes. It's not always cut and dry like that, but we can still voice the things that we desire in our lives, our goals, our visions. How do we accomplish them? I have a goal. Well, what do I need to do today to reach that goal? I can go to God in prayer asking God, can you give me the strength or the motivation to accomplish this while I'm on my way to achieve the goals that I want to achieve? So starting the day with prayer is a great thing. Noelle said her friends start with yoga. Um, sometimes I go to the gym in the morning and that always makes me feel a lot better. Eating a healthy breakfast is a good way to start the day. Uh, our dog. We start the day off with Star. <laughs> yeah, our dog Star, she comes in and I don't know if you can see her on the camera or not. She's a chocolate lab and she likes to make sure that we are not getting a lot of rest when we're trying to because she is, in her mind, she is the dominant one in the house. So For now, till the baby comes. <laughs> always puts a smile on our face, though, to see her tiptoeing around the house. So how we start off our day, we start off in prayer, mm -hmm. and sometimes we even drink a cup of coffee. So, Noelle, is there anything that you'd like to say as far as starting your day uh, before we close out this episode? No, I think that's... Well, I think I, I wanted to add that we also... Um, thank God for our blessings. Uh, you know, thank him in advance for things that we have not received yet, but also thank him for all the things that we have received so far. Uh, and it, it's, you know, anything from 
waking up that day to, you know, for the longest time we were praying we got pregnant and we are now pregnant and to have a healthy baby. And sometimes we have to pray for things that we might see throughout our day. If you have a morning commute and where we're in the area of DC, yeah. of a DC Beltway traffic, That's you might need to pray for the patience with these other drivers that you're gonna be encountering. Or if you have a job where you are around other employees who might be disrespectful or not doing their job up to par, sometimes we have to pray for the patience to deal with people like that. And as long as we have prayed for that in the morning, we have that in our minds already, our reaction mm -hmm. is more of a response than a immediate type of impulsive thing. It's like we already knew this was coming and we've already prepared for it and now we can deal with it in a healthier and better way. So thank you for sharing this time with us. This thank is you. Morning Coffee with Mark and Noel and these are gonna be short videos, usually between five and 10 minutes. And let us know if you like the videos and if you have any questions for us. Or any please, topics. Yeah, any, any topics, topics that you want us to talk about, you can put us, post them in the comments section. And this is going to be on our Facebook and YouTube channel. So thank you for sharing this time with us. Take, Take care, care and God, God bless. bless. <laughs> You're a goober.